This video is going to show you how to stop a bunch strong nasty out of the Colts playbook. I think this is the probably the most utilized offense, most popular offense here late in the year. So I want to give you kind of a tutorial on how to go against a D, how to go against a formation like this and have a pretty significant level of success. So uh, we're going to be in the dollar defense here. This is out of the Chiefs playbook. If you want to get my entire dollar defensive ebook, that will be linked in the description below. For just $10, you can become a Patreon member. It gets you access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks. So if you want to sign up for that, link's in the description. Okay, so let's take a look here at our coaching adjustments. First and foremost, auto flip's going to be off. Auto alignment's going to be base. Option defense is going to be on conservative. That's actually pretty important when you're playing the bunch strong nasty formation. And then pretty much everything else is going to be on default, including zone coverage, which is really, really important. Now for audibles, the main thing here is to have DB Fire 2 Press in your audibles as a situational kind of blitz changeup call that we would go to. We have, uh, we're well actually in multiple. We do have the cover two press. Uh, you could do this out of multiple. You just need dollar basically. So, and then most importantly, our base defense is this free safety zone blitz. It's the best defense in the game for a reason. And as far as abilities go for this, I just recommend having deep out zone KO on both your outside corners and mid zone KO if possible on the left side safety. Those are the main things that matter. So, and you can get that relatively inexpensive in MUT and in CFM, obviously you can equip that. Now, the setup for the defense is we are just going to press, pinch our defensive line, and then really important, we're going to back off the slot corner on the right side every single time. So those are the main adjustments. And by doing those adjustments, this blitz is going to come in significantly more consistently. And then we're going to put the safety on the left side of the field into a hook curl zone, and we're going to shade outside and underneath. By shading outside and underneath, this is kind of the base defense that I like to utilize to defend this formation. And essentially what I'm looking for is I like to either A, use her on this defensive lineman and bail into coverage, or B, if I if I see the tight end go like vertical, the, there's a really good chance, they're, I'm, I'm sorry, not the tight end vertical, but if I see the slot receiver run a streak, there's a really good chance it's going to be this route combo right here. So what's my responsibility here? My responsibility is the right side corner route. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to kind of watch this and then I'm going to take that to the corner. And by just that simple user, oftentimes they won't throw it and they'll check it down to the in route, which is perfectly fine. You know, and again, we're going to time this up and we're going to get pressure. And so the pressure should ultimately bust the pipes of the offense, right? If we're doing the setup that I just shared with you. Now, the other thing I would advise is not moving this defender when you click onto him, you want to kind of keep him as he is. And the reason why is because it's going to help us with the disguise of the defense, which we'll get to in just a minute. But most of the time they'll do something like this. And what you'll see here is you can just kind of come over here and take this away. And if they're not super on point with their reads, you know, that's going to be a stop. Okay. Now let's talk about some other route combos from this formation. I think the most difficult one to defend is going to ultimately be this play from the bunch nasty called dagger, uh, which is what I came out in where they just use, use the slot crosser. So the cool part about this is with this hook curl on the left side, if they throw that right there, that's a KO in game. It's a KO every single time in practice mode. For some reason you can still kind of free form it and get it around the defender. But trust me, like that's a pretty good defense uh, for, for what they're trying to do. Again, it's just this hook curl. You're just going to shade underneath. And then, as you can see, you kind of have your coverage. Now, the other thing that I like to, to do, especially against a formation like this, is a lot of this just comes down to kind of midpoint with your user and understanding where is the hardest throw on the play. And the hardest throw for them to make on this play is really this crosser. Uh, you'll see here, a lot of times, as you see, he comes off of the ball. A lot of times he's able to KO that. So what we want to do is we want to say, hey, go for the crosser. We don't want to worry too much about the crosser on this play. We want to kind of trust the KO to do its job. So, and it takes a lot longer to develop. So what I like to do as far as a user of this, and I'll show that real quick here, I'm going to act like I'm taking the crosser and then later I'm just going to back right back down in here and take this away. Now he is obviously also running into coverage with the yellow, but in general, this is a pretty good way to defend that play. Now the other main play that you'll see a lot of people like to run or go to is kind of a bomb play out of the play wide trail. So they might do something like what you see on your screen here. And the biggest thing here is we are going to be giving up like the running back ghost route if they do put a ghost route on the field. But in general, there's a couple things we can do to defend it. But in general, I would say just user this post. And the reason why I would say that is because 
there's not a whole lot else they have. As you see right here, I take that. The pressure's coming in hot. And, and there, it is a five-out play, right? So what a lot of people are going to do, because they want to try to get the bomb off, this is what a lot of people do, is they will go ahead and they will, uh, they will call wide trail and they will block the running back. Now, if you're anticipating that they are calling wide trail, one of my favorite adjustments would be the deep half, this defender on the left, and to inside quarter, this guy on the right. If I were to do that, this would then allow me to actually use her the 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 ghost and the in the post but you'll see that that inside quarter he'll never get over the top of that inside quarter there so if you're anticipating that they might be going for a bomb that's a good adjustment to do another thing that i would say though and this is one of my favorite things to do against this formation is to send five and the reason i like to send five is because and i would send five with a contain here to the left side the reason I like to do this is because this hook curl, when you shade outside and underneath, which is really important, shade outside and underneath, they're not going to have time for the deep crossing route. They're going to have you're going to speed you're going to speed them up in terms of what they can actually throw, and a lot of times they're just not going to be able to get a whole lot open quick. So, for example, let's go back to dagger. The little shaded down hook curl will play the drag enough for the pressure to come in. So you see, boom, and it's because the blitz comes in so hot it's really difficult to be able to make a read. So this is one of my favorite adjustments in terms of just if I was if I was defending Bunch Strong Nasty, this would be one of my go-to coverage defenses. Now, another way that we can accomplish really the same thing would be to shade, basically shade down, and then we're going to curl flat this outside guy, and we're going to hard flat this middle linebacker. So you see we're going to do a double flat here to the left side. What this allows us to do is take anything going to the left because we're going to trust that that, out, that backed off curl flat with a shade outside can do a decent job of defending the double corner. So we're going to go here, back into the in route, and you see here's that curl flat, and he has a lot of chance, a lot of, especially if he's tall, he and has pick artist, he can make that play. So this is kind of my go-to defense for Bunch Strong Nasty. There's really a couple different versions of it, but really I like to, oftentimes I will certainly lurk on this guy right here. Even a defense like this right here, this is not a bad defense because you know you're going to get pretty good pressure. And then you're essentially making a read. If they're running dagger, you're going to go guard the crosser. If they're running if they're running double corner, then you're going to go guard the corner. So you see here, I see, okay, it's dagger. I know my responsibility is going to be to go here. They would then have to throw the ball to the drag, which is a really hard read in the presence of that hook curl. So anyways, this is just kind of a little snapshot of some of the stuff we talk about in our dollar defensive ebook. If you want to get access to my entire defensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. It's where you get access to all of the ebooks. The link to sign up for that is going to be down in the description below.